Officer Jeffrey Smith, 35 years old. <clears throat> he had been, been a member of the Metro Police for 12 years before the riot. Um, his wife stated that she received text messages from her husband during the riot saying he thought he might die that day. Uh, the officer sustained brain injuries during the riot when he was struck in the head by a metal pole thrown by a rioter. Um, now, that one I believe we saw on video. Yeah. Smith was put on sick leave following the incident and continued to suffer pain in the days uh, after the attack. Later, his wife said he wasn't the same Jeff that left on the 6th. I tried to comfort him and let him know that I loved him. Look, we have all seen and maybe even dealt with a traumatic brain injury. Mm -hmm. Like, that shit fucks you up immediately. It's fucking uh, real. It, it'll fuck up your pituitary, which means your hormones are all fucked up. And if you uh, want to know what someone whose hormone, hormones are fucked up is like uh, just uh, come hang psychologically, out with me. just go fucking visit a pregnant woman in the last trimester or uh, one bef the week before their period. I believe there's a word for that, the premenstrual syndrome. It's PMS called Pack My Suitcase Week. Yeah, it is. Like you, when your hormones get fucked up, you have severe psychological yeah. issues. Um, <clears throat> January 15th, he was found dead for an apparent suicide the day he was scheduled to return to duty. It seemed like it would probably just be too much for him at that point. Uh, now, I, I've, I've suffered in some of these ways before with traumatic brain injury and stuff like that and rehealing your brain. And it takes a lot of time to do that. Um, and it does feel hopeless a lot because you can't understand why you're so fucked up Yeah. and it makes you feel like a piece of shit, you know, cause we're used to being like alphas. We can take care of ourselves. I don't want to ask for help. There are other people that are suffering more than me, blah, blah, blah. It's always the same shit. Right. Until finally we break and then we look like an asshole. You know what I mean? We always, yeah. It, it, we, it's, it's, but it's like that. You have to hit rock bottom sometimes, I guess. Well, um, you know, I, I say sometimes you find yourself in the middle of nowhere and sometimes in the middle of nowhere you find yourself. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I mean, I get it. I mean, I have, I have, um, I've had quite a few TBIs and, um, I mean, when I came back, I had to go through, it was like four, four or five months of speech therapy mm. to, I guess like, that helps reroute it. Like, dude, I get lost in Walmart. Yeah. Forget, like, I would catch myself driving around, not even know where the fuck, like, yeah. where I was fucking going. I right? would lose. Like, why am I doing, like, what am I, what did I, what did I leave for? I, I would lose my phone in my car a lot. Right? Yeah. I don't know how it was happening, but my phone would end up in, underneath my seat or in the back of the car. And I would have to pull over and find it because I didn't know where I was going. I needed GPS and shit like that. That's weird, right? Yeah. Like, it didn't make any normal. sense. It didn't make any sense. So, <clears throat> anyways, um, the uh, the the Smith family's attorney says that sui or claims the suicide may have been influenced by the brain trauma caused by the injuries. Of course, they were. I mean, that's yeah. how that fucking works. That's how that um, goes. Uh, his wife, Aaron, is pushing for city officials to rec recognize his death as line of duty. Also, so all of these officers that they were able to parade on stage, they gave them medals of valor, right? but the ones that killed themselves can't even get designated as in the line of duty deaths. Are you fucking kidding me? But they're, but they're using them. Well, now they are in the media, yeah. but the family still haven't been taken care of yet. Yeah. Uh, six months after the fact, uh, Jeff McGill, <clears throat> the founder of blue help, a nonprofit outreach group for people affected by officer suicides, explained the significance of classifying the death as in the line of duty, uh, with the following statement, the significance of the line of duty death is that Miss Smith is now left where Officer Smith was the primary breadwinner. If it is not a line of duty death, she will receive a lump sum payment of a very small amount of money, which is not sufficient as saving as a savings mechanism. Uh, but it's also not appropriate under the facts and circumstances. So, uh, again, I go back to this. What difference does it make how the person died if it was connected to their service? The family needs to be taken care of still. That family sacrificed just as much as that soldier or police officer did, regardless. So uh, that shit is unacceptable. But that's what we're talking about, right? It's not just about, <clears throat> excuse me, it's not just about the suicides themselves or the riot itself or any of that stuff. It is about the way that no matter what happens, the media on either side grabs, shapes, twists, and then re-exports into their own narrative, whatever the facts of the case might be.